Hello students, welcome to chapter number 6, Lines and Angles and this is the fifth part. In this video lesson, I would be doing few more questions from exercise 6.1, that is question number 4, question number 6 and one extra question which I have given for homework. Have a look. Question number four, I have put a star out here indicating it is a very important question. Students, you will write down this in your notebook. In the given figure, x plus y equal to w plus z, then you have to prove that AOB is a line. So, it is given to you that x plus y is equal to z plus w. And in that case, how do you prove AOB is a line? So in order to prove AOB is a line, what you need to prove out here is X plus Y equal to 180 degree. You have to prove that. You could also prove W plus Z equal to 180 degree. And when you prove adjacent angles are supplementary, then AOB becomes a line. So students, in the beginning of the proof, you cannot use angles in a linear pair because it is not given AOB is a line. Okay, so make that thing very clear. Do not use angles in a linear pair anywhere out here because it is not mentioned that AOB is a line. You have to prove AOB is a line. So how do you begin this? Use angular measure of a circle. And number it as statement 1 because x plus y plus z plus w gives you a complete circle. And the measure is 360 degree. Then in the next step, you mention what is given. x plus y equal to z plus w. It is given. Now compare statement 1 and 2. So when you compare these two statements, you could substitute this in the above. So, in place of x plus y, you could write z plus w or in place of z plus w, you could write x plus y. Either of the way is correct. So, what have I written out here? x plus y plus x plus y equal to 360 degree. So, instead of z plus w, I have written x plus y. And this is from 1 and 2. So, when you add them, you get 2x plus 2y equal to 360 degree. Factorize it further. So, you get 2 outside common. 2x plus y equal to 360 degree. Therefore, what is x plus y equal to 180 degree? So, what have I done here? I have proved that x plus y equal to 180 degree. Now, look at what you need to write further. Now, x plus y equal to 180 degree. At the same time, wouldn't w plus z also be 180 degree? Why is that so? Because it is mentioned in the question that x plus y is equal to w plus z. So, whatever is the value of x plus y, the same will be for w plus z. Now, look at this yellow portion that is sitting on this. We have proved x plus y equal to 180 degree. At the same time, x and y, are they not adjacent angles? And if the sum of the adjacent angle is 180 degree, then the non-common arms form a line. So, which are the non-common arms in this? OB and OA are the non-common arms and OC is a common ray. Similarly, if W plus Z is 180, the non-common arms OB and OA will automatically form a line. So, you have to make a note of this statement. It is very important that you write, if the sum of two adjacent angles is 180 degree, then the non-common arm forms a line. So, be very careful when you are doing this problem. I don't want you to start off by saying that x plus y equal to 180 degree in the beginning. 
You cannot write that statement because we have not proved that AOB is a line. Okay. So I hope this statement is clear and write down this proof in your notebook. Now let us look at another question from exercise 6.1. That is question number 6. Question number 5 I will be doing later in another video lesson. Another important question, question number 6. It is given that angle XYZ is 64 degree and XY is produced to point P. Draw a figure from the given information. If ray YQ bisects angle ZYP, find angle XYQ and reflects angle QYP. Again, Write this question in your notebook. It is an important question. Now, how do you solve this? First and foremost, let us decipher what is given and let us draw a diagram based on that. So, draw a figure which is an acute angle that is angle X, Y, Z, 64 degree. You need not use a protractor and measure an angle of 64 degree. Just draw any acute angle. So, that's what I have done. X, Y, Z measuring 64 degree. Now, when they say that xy is produced, it means you're extending xy and when you extend this xy, it meets at point P. When I say xy is produced to point P, you extend this and name this as P. Now, if ray yq bisects angle zyp, so given zyp, draw the angle bisector of it. So, the angle bisector is YQ. And when YQ is angle bisector means these two angles are equal. This is how the diagram will look. Let us solve it further. Now, use angles in a linear pair. Angle XYZ plus angle ZYP total is 180 degree. So, from that you could calculate what is ZYP. ZYP will be 116 degree. Now, after calculating angle ZYP, they have also mentioned YQ is the bisector. So, if YQ is bisecting this angle ZYP, make a statement. Angle ZYQ is equal to angle QYP and both of them are half of angle ZYP. So, what will each angle be? It will be 58 degrees. That means ZYQ is 58 degree and PYQ also 58 degree. Students, writing down this statement is important. Okay, this step is also very important. This is the reason for this step. You cannot directly write down that ZYQ equal to QYP equal to 58. You have to give reason as to why it is 58. I hope it is clear. Now let us see what to do next because they have asked you to calculate angle X, Y, Q and also reflex angle Q, Y, P. Now angle X, Y, Q solution is given here. It is angle X, Y, Z plus angle Z, Y, Q. The reason that you have to mention out here is angle addition property. Now, what is angle addition property? When you add two angles, you get the bigger angle that is called as angle addition property. So, here you add 64 and 58 and you get the answer as 122 degree. That means angle X, Y, Q equal to 122 degree. The last thing that they have asked here is Find reflex angle QYP. Now, what is the meaning of reflex angle QYP? Students, we have done this in the first video lesson of lines and angles. Now, reflex angle will look like this. It means the outside portion, this exterior angle in this case. So, reflex angle QYP will be 360 degree minus angle QYP. So that is what is mentioned out here. 
360 minus angle QYP, which is 360 minus 58, that is equal to 302 degree. Students, be very careful. You have to write reflex angle QYP because the minute you say reflex angle QYP, it would be the angular measure of the circle minus the measure of the given angle. So I hope this is clear. So with this, we have found out three things. The measure of angle ZYP, individual angles because YQ is the bisector of ZYP along with that ZYQ and reflex angle. Now, let us look into another question that I have given as homework. Write down the solution of this in your notebook. So, I have done question number four and question number six. This is the homework question. Find the value of y in the given figure. Now, I have not mentioned here that A M B is a straight line. So, you are considering A M B as a straight line. If A M B is a straight line, you have to calculate what is the value of y. The answer to that is 54 degree. Now, you are not going to write down this directly in your book. You have to give steps. I am discussing that now. If you want, you could just jot down in your notebook. Now, that AMB is a straight line. You know that AME plus BME will be angles in a linear pair. So, total is 180 degree. So, 3X plus 72 is 180 degree. With that, you will get the value of X. So, you will get the value of X as 36 degree. Okay. Now that X is 36, you can find out what is 3X. But that is not required. Now, keep that aside. X is 36. So, if X is 36, that means here it is 36. That means angle AMC is 36. So, 36 plus 90 plus Y degree is 180 degree. Because they are angles in a linear pair. Now, if these form angles in a linear pair, you know the value of X. You know this is 90 degree. Can you find out angle DMB? Yes, you will get it as 54. Students, again, there are different ways of doing this. Try it out. I want you to solve this in your notebook. Now, whatever questions I have given you and even the homework, I want all of you to do it in the same geometry notebook. You need not write homework in a separate homework book. And I hope you have maintained a separate geometry notebook. So with this, students, we have finished all the questions except one from exercise 6.1. That is question number five. It is a proof and that proof I will be doing in the forthcoming video lesson. So with this, we come to the end of this video lesson. I want you to solve all these questions and keep practicing. And in every video lesson of lines and angles, I will be giving you one homework question. Okay? Until then, goodbye.